Hey, 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 how's it going everyone? Welcome to a video here with the SH Figures 15th anniversary uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, so yeah, this is just coming out in Japan. Um, just got back from work. I completely forgot he was coming out. Uh, so it's a nice surprise actually. Uh, so yeah, one thing you'll notice straight away is this beautiful slipcover and man, the embossing. I love embossed boxes, especially with metallic printing underneath that blue metallic-y SH figure. It picks up the light beautifully and it looks stunning. Uh, we've had some lovely slipcovers lately, uh, especially with the V-Jump Goku, now Vegeta here. Um, Pretty sure the upcoming um, Goku with book also has a really sexy uh, slip cover as well. So I'm pumped to get that. Um, you know, World Tour last year, Kaioken won uh, what's in 2010 as well. So some really cool slip cover releases. And yeah, glad to see Vegeta getting the treatment as well. On the back, very straightforward and simple. Now, this is a premium Bandai release. Um, and for those that are unaware, uh, originally back in actually 2019 as we can see in the box um, this figure or the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta release was released on Premium Bandai now I guess the rule of thumb in general um, we never get a straight up re-release of a Premium Bandai figure now for those that think hang on a minute, I picked up in the shop um, I believe at that time there still wasn't actually a premium bundle in the USA uh, so figures that were a web exclusive or a premium bundle exclusive in Japan got sold as a retail release in America and that is still the case now for countries that don't have premium bundle um, but now since there is that available in the USA these have now shifted to that platform um, so yeah anyway as I was saying uh, generally no re-release uh, so for the 15th anniversary last year, along with the World Tour event that they uh, did, uh, they did put up a poll um, for not just Dragon Ball, but there's uh, you know, the, um, live action movie ones, Kamen Rider, a um, whole bunch of their core series where you could actually go and vote for a... They didn't have everything, but they had a good section of previous premium bundle releases, um, and you could vote for which one you wanted to get a re-release. Now for Dragon Ball, the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta here did win. Uh, so we have the 15th anniversary edition. Now if you have the original one, this is just the same, uh, though with obviously the uh, sleek packaging. And as we can see in the uh, slipcover here, he also comes with a pedestal. Not the full stand, but at least the base of the stand with a 15th anniversary text on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, overall pretty much straightforward. Um, but we'll have a quick look at the finish and uh, you know, articulation for those that may not be familiar with the super version of Vegeta. And then obviously then we can have a, a comparison with the uh, Z version. Uh, and then the pros and cons, you know, like the general flow of most videos. Uh, so if you do want to check out more Dragon Ball reviews, I have a whole bunch of previous releases and obviously upcoming um, figures you'll be able to check out a review on the channel for the Japan release so yeah if that's what you're into please you know like subscribe and all that um, but most importantly leave lots of comments I love reading them uh, your thoughts on a figure what you want to see next uh, maybe past releases as well and all that so always look forward to reading comments so please do that but anyway for now let's pop in our box and see what he does come with so Vegeta's in the center with that, uh, was it Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, I, you know, I never remember all the Dragon Ball Super terms, uh, but this is uh, what the God with the Kaioken, uh, so we get the blue color, so we've got the base head there, uh, what's that, screaming, mouth open screaming, teeth, grit, uh, face, and then we have a bit more of a cocky look for the God here. Uh, now I think this is the only Vegeta release it actually comes with both. I, I know he was a really sort of figure back in the day So it's really cool that he is getting a re-release for newer collectors I know especially a lot of younger or newer collectors are big fans of Super uh, So this is definitely probably gonna be a sought-after figure for those fans So it's really cool that they do get a new option now for Hanzo coming into that I'm gonna get the finger spread and martial arts grip. You know the good old thumbs up that Vegeta does when he's pointing uh, For when he's pointing to himself and we also get some extra grip and then those arms folded um, attached to the back and another little wee uh, package is that 15th anniversary stand and oh check it out that lovely metallic blue shine on it that is looking cool uh, so we'll pop that out of the packaging as well a little bit later uh, so for now let's pop them out and we'll check out the overall finish. 
Uh, so actually my uh, turntable batteries died on me, I need to pick up some more, um, but at least for the finish this one, one thing that stuck out to me straight away was that the matte finish on his armour, uh, where normally you kind of get like a real shine to them, and uh, this one is a lot more of a matte finish and it looks pretty cool actually, uh, we have a bit more of a darker navy blue opposed to a more um, a vibrant blue for the Z version of Vegeta. And, you know, nice mustard colour, and then the hair does have a subtle metallic sheen to it, which is pretty cool. Uh, that is also the same for the gold here, so a real subtle metallic look. Um, I don't have the original, I've never owned the original release, so I can't tell you any specific differences. Um, but from my understanding, this is going to be exactly the same as that. And even the face printing looks like the same, they haven't updated the face printing like, like they do. Um, with some of the new releases. So it definitely does have that pre-2020, um, 2020, 2021 look to the face printing. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's just jump straight into the articulation though. So starting with the head, yeah, a couple of mil down. He can definitely look up a lot better. And uh, we get the side left and right a little bit. Now this does have a standard Vegeta peg, which we'll see a little bit later. Uh, so you can pop a head off, swivel the peg to get a little bit more motion for left and right tilting if you need. Um, but the swivel is fine. Uh, now for the shoulders, everything moves up and around without any issue. It can come forward with the butterfly joints. Um, though the articulation you know, is older finger, so it definitely is a little bit more limited. Uh, so you can't really... <laughs> yeah, I mean when you compare it to the newer figures, right, it's definitely a lot more limited. It really highlights how much of a, uh, I guess, what would be the... Right, we're to say, basically we want an updated Vegeta, right? We want a highly articulated, a 3.0, just like the recent um, Goku figure for Vegeta. Um, but, you know, coming back to this one, the elbow's pretty good. Um, the uh, wrist joint is all standard. Um, we have a nice curvature in this armor here, so I think maybe, yeah, look at that. So decent range of motion on the top part, um, which is nice. Um, and going back, bit of tilt there. So it seems like it is double jointed in there, so you can lift up a little bit higher and then you can push it down, so that will help with the articulation. Put it all the way up, and then you can tilt forward. Uh, so that is nice, a decent range there actually, which is quite good. Uh, and you can obviously go left and right and on the angle as well. Uh, so yeah, actually I'm quite surprised, that definitely feels quite nice. Uh, I think it's actually a little bit better than the Z version as well actually, which is cool to see. Now coming into the waist here, uh, you know, get the full and swivel, not too bad. Um, the legs, again, you know, standard Vegeta range, don't get the full splits. Um, going forward, all good. Going back is nice. Uh, the knee joint is really good. Um, actually, one thing I think I forgot to mention was it does have a bicep swivel. Um, and then we have the ankle peg. And yeah, we get a decent range of motion here, but again, not a huge fan of the ankle design for Vegeta figures. I really want a new Vegeta, right? Every time I play with one of these, you know, styles, this makes me want an updated version of Vegeta with, uh, you know, highly articulated version, you know, like Ultimate Gohan, Beast Gohan even, uh, you know, with his rubber jacket, which even limits it a little bit, but even then, a lot better than this. And then the new um, Goku release really highlights how much of an updated Vegeta we need. Moving over to the faces though, you know, the um, base face it. I mean it's all good, it definitely does feel a little bit more outdated uh, especially when you compare it to uh, say the recent uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta which does have a little bit more of a crisper printing to the faces. Uh, yeah, mentioned a little bit earlier, it does feel like a little bit, definitely feels pre-2020. Uh, so a little bit of a shame that they didn't update their face printing on this release um, but you know hopefully in the future we'll get a fully updated Vegeta. Uh, but to change the face play at least we can just uh, pop off the front and that will give us access and then we can slot the new faceplate in. So this is the uh, mouth open screaming one again all good uh, I do like how we have the coloring in the ears as well it does give it a little bit more depth and detail to the faceplate which is good. Okay now we have a teeth gritting one I can't really say I like this face. It kind of looks like a weird angry baby with, I don't know, like he's been sucking on a lollipop or something. With a, I like how there's colouring in the mouth, but maybe it's his expression and the colour is just, 
it looks a little bit weird. Um, let me know what you think in the comments though. Yeah, I'm, yeah, maybe it's just, I'm so used to the newer faces which are a lot better. Um, and when compared to these, some of these older figures, but yeah, this one I don't think lives up anywhere near as good as that original base neutral one or the um, fully mouth open one. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's jump over to the gold head. Now to do that, just uh, get a good grip on the body, the head, and just pull in a straight line. And that will pop it off. And as you can see here, we have a pair which will move. So as I mentioned earlier, you can kind of swivel this around to face the side if you want to tilt off to that direction. Uh, so just line it up. Um, and we can get the new head and just uh, pop it on. Okay, so the Super Saiyan God head here. I think this one's definitely looking a little bit better. It has that subtle cocky smile. Um, and then the um, printing and cutting of eyes is nice as well. Uh, so yeah, for an older face, I think this one's looking pretty good. Uh, kind of same with that initial kind of neutral miffed look from the uh, blue here compared to the other one. So I think these two are definitely the stronger face works for this release. And then obviously uh, pairing up that uh, thumbs up with this gold here. I think it looks pretty cool actually. Uh, definitely digging this style for Vegeta. Um, yeah, maybe be one of my go-to poses for Vegeta every time. It is always like that cocky look he has uh, with that thumbs up. And then matching up that kind of myth look of you know the martial arts grips into the pose like he's about to jump in and start kicking Kakarot's ass. Um, so yeah, yeah, nice mix of hands and faces with this figure. Uh, he does come with the arms crossed, which I won't pop on, but you just pop his arms off um, at the, uh, what's that, the um, bicep there, and these will slot on. Not a big fan of these um, in general, uh, but you know, you kind of warm it up and you can pop it on and off. Uh, if you want to kind of see all these alike on other figures, you can check out uh, the old uh, movie, Dragon Ball Super Vegeta, where I did pop it on. Uh, but yeah, let's grab the other Vegeta, go and check out a little bit of a size comparison. Okay, okay, so I wasn't going to change the arms, but I think I really should. Uh, it's not a complete review if I don't put on all the accessories, so we have the arms folded here for a bit of a size comparison along with a vent exclusive. As we're saying, God, Goku from. Oh, oh, was it 2019 as well? Surely not. 2020. Wow. It's been a while since this guy came out, actually. Uh, he definitely is pretty cool. Love the hair on him. Anyway, um, next time we do have the. Uh, Vegeta release from last year, which I absolutely love. Uh, the face printing definitely highlights the difference in quality uh, from 2019 through to 2023. And actually, I mentioned how I think the chest articulation is a bit bigger on the uh, Super Vegeta, but actually, this one here is the same where it can extend and go forward really far. Uh, so I kind of forgot about that. Uh, it's nice to get them out again. Uh, actually, currently in the process of um, cleaning out the room, what you can't see off camera is down to the corner here, massive stack of boxes. Um, and I'm looking to burn some more display cases down there so I can move some over into the corner, which I can't fit in the case behind. Anyway, I digress, getting off track here. Um, yeah, sizing, they all look good, especially the two Vegeta's uh, next to each other. And um, one thing I never really understood, these are basically the same, but they do have a different design in the feet and ankle. And this one here isn't so bad with the 15th anniversary, uh, but the feet are slightly smaller. Um, and I found it really annoying on the movie Vegeta, uh, where the feet are just kind of a bit too small and made them a lot harder to um, pose and stand up. But it's nice to see that the uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta version doesn't have that issue, which is good. So before we jump into the full pros and cons, do want to showcase the stand. This base, shiny black plastic with a lovely blue uh, finish of SH Figure Arts 15th Anniversary logo. Uh, so let's slot him underneath the Goku, uh, sorry, the Vegeta there. Whew, it's been a very long day and months, so pretty tired, uh, but I wanted to get this out for you all. Uh, actually lots of cool releases this weekend, so keep an eye out for more videos coming, but anyway, um, pros and cons for the 15th anniversary Vegeta here. Obviously the number one big pro is the fact that we get another chance. Oh, 
we get another chance at this Vegeta release uh, since he was previously um, or even this time as well, um, Premium Bandai, which means no uh, straight up re-release, so the fact we get him is awesome. I really like the stand. It would have been cool if it did come with the arm as well. It's a bit of an odd choice to only give the base. Maybe they assumed that's kind of how people want to use it, or that people have multiple other stands anyway, and they can just take the arm and put it on this one if they want. Bit of a weird choice, I would have at least like one arm to come with it. That's a bit more on the con side, I guess, but the base itself is a pro for this release, along with that beautiful slip cover, um, which otherwise is the only difference from the original release with this figure. And that is one of the cons for this one. Uh, you know, it's good to get a straight re release, uh, but we have noticed with, I guess, it, this guy is kind of a re release, but some subtle changes, so we did get, I did get face printing. Freezer fourth form at the start of last year, I believe it was. Basically, same as an older figure, but we did get updated face printing. So I'm a little bit surprised we didn't get that on this release. It would have been a good chance to do it. I'm not really sure why they didn't, but that is a bit of a con for this one. Updated face printing on this figure would have been um, <laughs> an awesome choice because, uh, yeah, as we saw the um, mouth, shut, teeth, gritting. Faceplate, which I'll get now. Yeah, I don't know, just, yeah, anyway, I'll put it away, it's kind of stuff of a horror movie. Um, but yeah, that is the big con for this release. But anyway, overall, I think for a collector's point of view, it is a must have. Uh, anything exclusive, I don't know, sucker for exclusives, especially when they're anniversary ones, I think that's really cool. Um, even if I don't like Super, I have no interest in the blue or the red here. To me, this is Vegeta. The softer blues, the a bit more natural uh, tone. I like this armor design. And Super Saiyan, any day, takes the win for me. But from you know, the collector in me, it really digs this release. And it's a nice addition to have, especially to go for the event exclusive figures. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about this release. Did you get, did you pass? Um, are you a sucker like me and just got because it is exclusive or oh, you know a special limited version um, but yeah if you enjoyed like subscribe and all that keep an eye out for future videos and more importantly drop lots of comments um, and let me know what you think about this release and what would you like to see get the other kind of special anniversary or event type release for older premium Bandai releases personally I'd love to see Master Roshi again um, or the Saiyan Saga Scouter Vegeta. That would be really cool. Especially the 1.01. Um, um, actually, I just want a whole really new, uh, fully newly designed Vegeta with updated articulation. That would be awesome. One day, hopefully, maybe hopefully soon, that would be really cool. Anyway, let's finish up this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, cheers.